Hi there. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's uh, look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What do these cards have to say today? Oh, we have the Empress. Very nice. Chariot. Strength. Moon. Wow, look at all these majors. Four majors here so far. Two of Sword. Death. Wow. Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, some big energy here. Um, gosh, this Empress energy. Empress is what your person is desiring. Uh, so that's like... They're desiring you. They're desiring to be with you uh, regardless of your gender. Male, female, doesn't doesn't um, matter. It's There's something about wanting you, wanting to nurture you, uh, wanting to move towards you here. Uh, and finally having the ability uh, to make some big decisions. I mean, we've got two of sword right next to the death card here. Your person is very much transforming uh, their current situation, whatever that may be. We're going to clarify that, but death in the energy of their environment, like their current uh, environment is changing and changing very rapidly. Uh, I feel like they're ready to approach you. They're thinking about approaching you. You may have not heard from your person in a while and, and that's okay because they've been dealing with you know, they've been dealing with this this um, death energy, and it's not necessarily um, a, a, an actual death. It's just like the death of their old situation, the death of their old environment. Uh, they're, they're definitely thinking about their thoughts right now are Knight of Cups, like how do I approach you? How do I move towards you? I feel like they're really ready for this new beginning. Uh, Ace of Pentacles in their heart space. Uh, I feel like there's a purity here. There's something like maybe your person sees your purity. Something about um, there's something about a pureness here, like pure love or pure genuine. Um, genuine love or genuine like maybe they see that you are genuine um there's something about finally being able to take the action move towards you um, and come out into the open here we got what spirit most wants us to know about this situation right now is the moon card so i feel like things are becoming they're coming out into the open uh, and i believe we're very near a uh, full moon right now as i'm reading these cards so maybe this full moon has some uh bigger message for you um i'm i'm not um i, I love astrology but i'm not an astrologer uh, so maybe there's something about maybe do more research on this uh, full moon that's near us right now. You know, and this is a timeless reading. So whatever the next full moon is um, or the one that's like the nearest full moon has some significance uh, for you. Maybe Google what the moon you know, this particular full moon, how it affects you um, astrologically. Because uh, I feel like there's a deeper message there that the universe has for you that's bigger than this uh, tarot reading. Uh, but to a sword, a person is definitely ready to make a decision. Uh, they don't really know the outcome of the decision. But I feel like they're trusting in, you know, just taking the action. Because if you don't, if you don't try, then how will you ever know? It's like there's, you know, um, I, there's something about um, if we don't try, then, you know, we can only probably regret not um, seeing the possibilities, like what could I, what could have happened? Um, maybe they've, they've gone through that route before. Like maybe, 
um, they they thought about, well, geez, if I had I approached you sooner, uh, then maybe we could have had more time together in this lifetime. I feel like you definitely have an eternal connection. Um, so, you know, time is really kind of an illusion here. But in our earthly realm, it's like time, you know, time exists in the earthly realm. Uh, but two of swords, uh, let's pull a card on that, eight of coin. Okay, so yeah, they're focused on this decision. Like, you know, it's interesting because that two of swords is blindfolded. And look at this eight of coin. She's got the, the welding mask on. She's she's welding. She's um, covering her eyes. Like, so there's something about not really knowing the outcome, not being able to see the outcome, but focusing on, you know, taking the action anyways, following your heart, um, seeing an opportunity and taking uh, advantage of the opportunity. This death card here in your person's environment, page of wands. Yeah, maybe they've told um people in their environment about their plan of action here, their ideas uh, and and they're they're going for it, and you know they don't really care anymore what anybody around them thinks. You know maybe they held back from approaching you um, because of other people's opinions or whatever it may be. Uh, they they're thinking about this action here. Yeah, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cup, Knight of Swords. Knights are very much action oriented. This is in your person's thought space. I feel like they're thinking about taking action, and this Ace of Pentacles. In their heart space, I feel like they see the opportunity. They're going to take the opportunity. Uh, they're going to go for it. They're not, you know, we can think all day about taking action, but it's not actually taking action. It's thinking about taking action. But I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles in your person's heart space, you know, they see an opportunity. Like they're, they're going to take advantage of the opportunity uh, the and make you an offer here. Nine of coin. Yeah, they're feeling more confident um, in their abilities right now. They're feeling more... Um, Let's see if we can adjust this lighting here. They're feeling more like capable, like feeling like up to par. Like they can um, be their best self for you because you you are genuine you are an incredible um soul you are an incredible human being you are uh, incredible and they see that and they want to uh be right for you they want to be just as um you know they want to be your equal queen of wands yes they see your beauty they see your passion uh, and they want to head in your direction here, this chariot energy, definitely taking action. Yeah, they're overcoming their um, their their um, fears here. I feel like with that um, nine of coin energy, eight of coin energy, uh, seven of wands on this chariot. I feel like they're overcoming their fears of taking that action and moving towards you. Uh, I forgot to pull one of these... Um, Lemurian Oracle messages. We'll read that in closing, but I'll set that there for now. Uh, strength energy. Yeah, the strength is the action they're taking towards you. I feel like they're ready to, you know, to face the consequences. Take the action and let the chips fall where they may. Uh, six of Wands. Yeah, they're hoping for success. They're hoping to reconnect with you, uh, set new goals, and achieve them with you by their side. Uh, this Moon energy here. Knight of Cups. Yeah, look at the Knights. Knight of Cups twice. Knight of Swords twice. I feel like they're going to make you an offer, and it's going to come in soon. Uh, they have a love offer for you. I feel like they want to break down the barriers here. It's like she's she's delivering this message here, but the the bar there's bars on the window. It's like this time to clear up some of the. Um, you know, this on the moon too. So time to clear up some of the, um, I'm, I'm hearing insecurities, but I feel like it's more of clear up the um, unknowns. Like it, take the action, let the chips fall where they may, you know, whether you accept their offer or not, uh, they're going to come forward anyways. You know, live and learn. Five of sword. Yeah, they've been battling this 
um, you know, contemplating in their mind, you know, how to take this action. Uh, but they're ready for change. They don't care what anybody thinks anymore. They're going to go for it here. Yeah, the sun. And they're hoping for the best uh, is what I'm getting. Uh, six of sword on the bottom of this deck. What do we got on the bottom of this one? Page of pentacles. Yeah, they see an opportunity and they're going to go for it. They want to, you know, manifest that idea. Page of pentacles, ace of pentacles. It's like seeing, so having an idea, seeing it very clearly um, and taking a chance, moving towards you uh, with that six of sword. All right, let's close with our Lemurian Oracle message. We have Aether, the seamless unspeakable. This illuminated space of no distraction and pure potential is beyond the threshold. It is the centered and present place where all dreams are birthed. From here, you can choose where to go. What may be perceived as endless nothingness is the illuminated eternal, the core that all fears may be peeled back to. Step through the darkness and realize it is only a short distance from the white void at the center of creation. Herein lies the feeling you may have been striving to meet, yet subconsciously running from. In graceful surrender, know you are held and drop deeper into existence. Peace be with you. Bye now.